What's going on guys? Welcome back to Boat Art Kiko's. This is Josh. I thought I'd come out here this morning and shoot a shoot a quick video for you guys and just show you a megawatts uh, pin that he has and kind of just show you how his girls are, where he's staying at, kind of look at this pasture and uh, break down uh, his breeding pen. So Megawatt, he's got this whole pasture that goes right back here. It's right around seven acres and uh, Megawatt has 32 does with him. Some of them are first timers because they're BT daughters. Over here behind me, you'll see he's got a covered area that they can get into. And uh, I'll walk in there and catch that, show you guys that. They got a hay feeder in here. Uh, we've been putting out a little bit of alfalfa hay for them for some, uh, some good high protein hay. But let's go in here and check out this uh, setup underneath this barn. So you can see uh, he's standing behind me and uh, one of the things that I really like about Megawatt is he's a real long stout looking goat. He's not real tall. Uh, he's with a mature doe right now but he's not real real tall but he's real long and wide. He's got a lot of meat on him uh, and he throws that to his kids. You'll see that his kids they a lot of them have that color and a lot of these does are growing off with that real uh, long and wide. What he reminds me of is like a, a show pig or a show steer, just that real stout look, and he's got it. He's a real docile buck. He's not mean in any way. He just don't want you around him. You can get in here and get around him. Uh, we've handled him a couple times. Um, we give him his yearly shots the other day i did not have my camera with him but he's pretty easy to handle once you get him in a small confinement so in here you can you can see behind me that we got this covering and it goes uh, almost around the whole barn and uh, it's a pretty good wide area He's got that to get into he's got that and then uh, of course they can go out and graze So over here on his side um, He's got it pretty good. He's got a, a big barn to get underneath uh, I'll do a video about BT setup his setups a little different. Uh, we don't have a barn like this in that area but uh, I try to go out and get some foot, footage of the goats. It's early morning. The goats are just now going out and grazing. Uh, but I thought I'd come in here and just kind of show you the pasture setup. Um, one of the main things about this is for between uh, the two mature bucks, BT and Megawatt, we have a pasture in between them. So this pasture you see right here is in between these two bucks so there's not a lot of fighting at all going on between them we don't have to worry about them jumping out and getting in with the other buck uh, we like to keep them a pasture between that takes care of a lot of the fighting the tearing up and wondering who got in with who
So you can see right here, they're trying to establish dominance in this pasture. Uh, some of these does have been uh, in with one another and some of them, it's their first time being in together. So uh, they're gonna establish who's the dominant doe. And right now they're just going through that pecking order. So uh, this is a pretty good group. Um, this is Megawatch group and it's pretty, I mean, I just, there's not a bad doe in the group. Uh, he's got a few commercial. Here's a commercial right here. That's a BT commercial. So Megawatt's got, he's got some uh, commercial purebreds and mostly New Zealands. But you'll see these goats kind of sort out the pecking order. And you'll see, uh, we've been coming out here and checking on them. This is a cool morning. We got some storms blowing in. But you can see them uh, rubbing on him. We haven't seen a whole lot go on. It's been the first uh, week today. So we haven't really seen a whole lot of stuff go on. And uh, you really want until you get a good cool snap. So um, in this pasture down here, uh, there's a pond over there. And then you've got this right here too. It's got, it's got shelter down here for them to get into. So we've got shelter in here. So probably one of the biggest uh, does that we raised last year. I see if I can catch her. It's she's this doe right here. She's brown with white on her side, and um, her name is BT's Beauty. Uh, she's a great big doe. Um, she is a cross that we made, and we, we're making that exact same cross. This will be the third year we've crossed this. And this doe right here, she's exceptional. So, that's a BT daughter, of course, with the name BT Beauty. But uh, we got her in here with Megawatt. And uh, we're really, really excited about that cross. Uh, she's a big doe. She was the one that we put on the scales. And she weighed like 124 pounds at like 15 months old. So we're excited about that. Well, I'm out here trying to get some footage for you guys, and <laughs> the goats just don't want to be real cooperative for me. So I'll do the best I can, but they're kind of bouncing all over the place. Uh, but that's all right. I got some. I got some pretty good footage of Megawatt and his group, and I uh, just wanted to show you guys his setup and and uh, what his what his doe herd looks like. He's got a pretty good, really a pretty good group. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, do me a favor, go subscribe to the channel. 
like the video it helps it out it helps get uh, get it out there for YouTube people to see it uh, but that's all I got for today I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll catch you on the next one